Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys for tuning in with me. You guys, I'm Mystical Mermaid. Most people call me Eminem though, okay? Um, if this is your first time, welcome here. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Um, I am a spiritualist. Um, some people call us a psychic medium. Um, if you are skeptic, welcome. I actually am very welcoming to skeptics. I don't blame you guys. I myself am a skeptic. Um, I have to see it to believe it when it comes to a lot of spiritualists out there. I know too many people, especially here on this platform, that is very... Um, I was going to say evil, but I'm not. <laughs> um, uh, dishonest. Let's use that word, okay? So everybody should truly use their discernment, okay? Um, you will know when you know, all right? Your, your spirit will tell you if you should be watching the creator or not, okay? Anyways, everything that I'm about to say is my spiritual opinion. This is all alleged. This is not factual information, okay? I finished the Idaho um, connection, and I have posted it. I, I know that I said I would do part two with the cards, Um I, I wanted to work on this first, okay, because I feel like it needed to be out, um, but I will be putting up tomorrow or either later tonight the part two of Idaho 4, okay? Um, that is what I plan to be doing with these videos now. Instead of having two-hour lengthy videos boring you guys to death with my annoying accent, um, I am going to start doing my spiritual connection on one and then, um, or my insight, maybe some call it, and then the cards on a part two with it. Okay. Um, unless for some reason God puts it on my heart to do it right then, right there, then that's how we're going to move forward with these. Okay. All right. <clears throat> With that being said, let's begin. We are going to be working on Elijah Vu, the three-year-old out of Wisconsin, okay? Um, I honestly, um, Brat Brat brought this to me. Um, oh, there it is. Um, last night, I believe it was. Was it last night or the night before? Or no, it was the night before. I apologize. Um, I connected last night and I made a bunch of notes, but before I did this video, I wanted to go ahead and connect again. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm not texting. I'm actually um, pulling up an image of Elijah just so I can um, picture him and create a good link, okay? Just in case I get downloads during this, I wanted to open that channel up. Okay. All right. And that, I mean, you can see I am telling the truth. Okay. All right. So, um, yesterday was a good connection with Elijah and my spirit team. Although, ooh, see, today I could just feel it, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Um, it was so, so clear. It's been a minute. Um, actually, the connection I got with little Elijah reminded me so much of the very first, um, I think it was my very first true crime on here. Um, Justin Evans, um, if you don't know that case, you should so get into it. Um, but anyways, 
for some reason that really reminded me of this energy but anywho so i actually have a personal message here um let me get my notes all out bear with me you guys okay <clears throat> now i had all this right in order and i was going to start with yesterday's but i actually cannot um and will not because i have been assisted to start with this message okay and it like i said it was so clear and so vivid um just the energy of this sweet boy i will never understand people never but anyways it's not my place to i guess all right so as soon as i connected with elijah this evening and that was today 2 29 24 at 7 29 p.m to be exact you guys when I connected with him, and when I say with him, it, it's usually with his spirit team, okay? And along with my spirit team. Um, unless, because with it being so early with him, um, I just sometimes the connection through the actual person isn't clear. Um Sometimes it never is, um, especially um, if you don't have an article of theirs or um, link to someone that specifically knew them. Um, but um, anyways, I connected with him. He came through. And this, this is what I wrote down. He is a beautiful spirit. Yes, in spirit, not in physical form. He came as a bird. A bird, not just for me, although this is my symbol for this. Um, usually a bird, if you have a loved one in spirit, um, you can bet your bottom dollar, dollar that that will there there will be a significant bird okay like when i see a a j i i know that's my papa you know i mean and then the blue ones for like my mama then you know there there's just you'll know okay but regardless or if it's a bunch of them you know it, it's definitely significant for myself that it is a very spiritual important message from spirit okay from god but anyway so i wrote down he came as a bird a bird is a visit from spirit with important messages i'm receiving wisdom with with my spiritual connection he will be welcoming a reincarnation he is accepting, welcoming to be reincarnated. Um, this is so clear. I don't know why I needed to know this. Maybe down the road. I'm not sure. However, he definitely wanted to say that. Um, I don't get that a lot. Usually, if I do, it is children. Um, there is another one um, that I have mentioned. But a lot of people don't like for me to mention the reincarnation because they don't believe it and da-da-da-da-da. Um, so I won't mention her name, but it is a little girl that I work on, um, her case. But anyways, um, I will go on. There will be a fundamental change that will and must happen. And I wrote for that man, and I know that man's name is Jesse, but he did not say Jesse, okay? He said for that man. However, I did see Jesse's uh, image. Um, he brings forgiveness. He is definitely saying that 
he ha basically he has nothing but love. Um, he brings forgiveness and is in a state of prosperous energy, which means a state of joy and fulfillment. But the truth must be revealed because this will bring peace and harmony. So I do see that this is going to be solved and he will be found. We will talk more about that during my notes that I wrote. But um, I just thought that was amazing. Um, if you guys understood how that kind of message felt to bring in and even though some of you guys may be rolling your eyes or telling me to shut up and just move on da 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 um you know that is just the feeling of that fills my heart and to know that I don't know, just that confirmation of being able to connect with someone in spirit. It just brings my heart joy and my, and brings me peace uh, and healing somehow. And I don't know. Uh, but for whatever reason, that that was just so clear and it needed to be said. Um, okay, let me move on. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to start with yesterday's notes and I may end up flipping over to today's because I need to add some stuff that I got more clear. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Now, when I wrote the first set of notes, which was 228-2024 at, I usually write the time, always. Why do I not have the time on there? I don't like that, actually, but I sure don't. Dang. There's no, that's so odd. I never do that, ever. Anyways, um. At the time, I wrote these and connected to little Elijah. I did not know that the parents were in jail. I had no clue, okay? Um, because, I, like I said, I didn't know much about the case. I still do not, okay? Um, but I did read an article today just to make sure where we were sitting before I did this. Um, and I seen that I, I refer him as a parent, step parent, step boyfriend, whatever, um, parent figure, basically. Okay. Um, I just learned today that Jesse and Katrina were in jail. I, like I said, I did not know. Um, I say that because my first note was, I feel like the perpetrator may have been arrested or be currently be waiting to to go to prison like um like waiting for a court date or something like that is what it looked like um my next note was elijah was neglected someone held resentment towards elijah and was very angry with him because of this I feel like this, Jesse was very jealous and held resentment because of Katrina, I feel. I feel like he did not want him in the picture. Um, also, I feel like he was, I don't know if it's, I don't know, I feel like maybe he wanted more kids or um I see that he can't love him like his own or something. Um, there's something about having his own kids, okay? 
Um, in the future, I do see that he will eventually admit his guilt. Um, we'll talk more about that in just a minute. Um, this man is very, 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 very controlling. Probably the most controlling person I've ever connected to. And believe me, hell, I've been married to a couple, okay? Um, I will, the one word that I get from spirit to describe him, I'm going to tell you guys in a minute. Um, that's how I knew right when right away that that I was on like on point when it, which I guess everybody pretty much knows that he was the one, you know, be, that did this. But anyways, um, I do get a mail at, but this, like I said, was before I knew they were in jail. Okay, both male and female energy, a hundred percent knows more. Um, talking about family. I wrote lies, deception, and cover-up. Um, now, I wrote something in the backyard. Um, I wrote something about that here, too, um, on today's. We'll hit that again. Um, I wrote, they need to take a closer look at Elijah's living area. Um, there is more evidence or clues hidden um i wrote i keep seeing someone throwing or tossing something from a a bridge or an overpass um i do definitely do feel that he is near a bridge but we'll talk more about that in a minute but the bridge is definitely important um jesse's energy the first word, you guys, as I step into his energy, God complex. That right there to me, I feel was definitely the motive as well as what was the other word I wrote? Cultural abuse. Okay. Um, right now, Jerry... Jerry, Jesse is, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted because my son's on talking to his friend. Um, Jesse is a trickster. He's scared and he is fearing to talk. He's struggling with his addictions. He is trying to play a certain type of role and fool people. Um, he likes to feel in control, yet he is nervous right now. Um, a part of him was heartbroken last night when I connected to him, but I do not feel like it was heartbroken for Elijah. He was heartbroken for himself and shameful of himself. Um, he, the energy that I seen him last night getting ready to step into was intense praying okay um having anger issues even at himself um i keep hearing i had no other choice i had no other choice um he is in denial i wrote detoxing from addictions again he's very ill because of detox um he can't think clearly, Spirit is saying. Um, I do hear, I did this, I did this. His mind is like, like he's beating himself up, as he should, but like he's beating himself, himself up mentally because he, I can literally see him rethinking like things he should have did different or something. Um, very clear. All right. Now, Katrina's energy. You guys. This is a big one. She. 
she is defensive. Um, I am, I don't know exactly what she told. Okay, I don't. Um, Katrina suffers from terrible, terrible depression, you guys. And uh, panic attacks. I'm seeing her having a panic attack inside. Um, she is about to be humble. Like, I, God's, obviously, this is her son. Um, you would think that, anyway, it would affect her. Um, but it. Like something, I don't know if they're going to get her on the right medications or what. Um, her, like her, I can see mentally and emotionally she's being brought, like I'm just seeing her soul, like, I don't know, just be brought down. Um, she is about to start, <clears throat> well, let me say, she has held back on whatever the information that she's had because she's scared. She does not want to be there. Um, she's very fearful. Um, I, I feel that she has been in solitaire. Um, but people walking by her are scaring her and frightening her. I don't know if they're saying something to her to frighten her or if it's just the fact that she's afraid. I, I'm not real sure, but I can see that going on. Um, I can also see that she's about to comply though completely 100 percent about to comply um she is going to step into the energy of regretful remorseful um she's going to tell everything she knows i just heard everything she knows um She's fixing to be ready to tell the truth. It's what I had wrote. I'm sorry. I meant I lost my place there for a moment. Um, now. I'm just trying to keep this together, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. So, this is like where. Um. Went over that, went over that. Okay. Oh, no, I need to go over that. Okay. All right. So, if I was law enforcement, this is what I'd be doing right now. I would be going back, obviously, to re-question or re-interview Katrina and, and make a deal. Um, also, <clears throat> I would go to friends and family of one of them. I feel it is, um, Jesse. I am, I mean, it could be Katrina's or maybe it's both of them. So I'm not sure. Um, there is a very particular gentleman and female. And that I'm seeing. And I, I feel like um, they're definitely a friend. However, I feel like at least one of them, if not both, is a neighbor. Um, I'm seeing gray hair, um, glasses. Um, mind you, maybe they don't wear them all the time. Um, I'm I'm seeing the, um, the like dirty blonde to a strawberry colored female. Um, I'm not great with age at all. I, that's my, that's my weakness. Um, I would say between 40 to 50 years old, maybe to 55, 40 to 55. Okay. Um, they definitely hold some information. Um, I feel like it's information that they don't even realize they have. So it's not like their intentions are to hide and they were part of the cover-up. Not at all. However, they've got something or know something that they need to speak up about. Um, I, 
I do see there is definitely 100% um, cell phone records I'm seeing. Um, I'm also seeing um, the surveillance or the, I'm not sure, I forgot what they call it, like CVT or something like that footage, like from ring, ring bells or door cameras or whatever they're called. Um, that footage, definitely 100%. Actually, I feel like it's more of a business that has the um, the big one. It could even be a school. I feel like it's a government building, actually, uh, regardless, because I know that whenever he transports, I am seeing, I feel like it's a school, but it could be a government building. Um as well as industrial, uh, like a factory or industrial plant or something I'm seeing. Um, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. But anyways, um, I just wanted to put out there, just in case anybody watches this that knows Jesse and Katrina or knows people that are connected to them, okay? Um, these people are really important for some reason. Um, I think I mentioned that he has... Um, got evidence hid at wherever he lived. Um, there is more evidence there. Um, it could be outside. It could be inside. Um, they will find some more. I'm saying that they will find more evidence. Um, I wrote down here Culture abu cultural abuse is important. He's a very different sort of man. He's very controlling, very particular. Um, oh, oh, now we need to talk about another person. Who has a sister? Someone has a sister. Um, don't know whose sister, but I heard the word sister, I bet you a dozen times, okay? Um, whoever has a sister, um, they also know something. They know the truth, I feel. So I don't know if somebody confided in them, okay? But there is a sister. All right. Now, motive, I, I wrote the first thing, God complex. So, politics or religion of somehow um it's almost well because well i also get like a mercy killing even energy um strange i, I don't know i just feel there's something like i said there is something about jesse and him wanting kids or or something comparing them or something um i also got copycat okay copycat mission which lets me know that um what he's done with him we've seen it before okay that's just spirit letting me know that um Fake alibis. Uh, I did write the case is going to be solved. Um, someone's protecting someone. Well, obviously, now I know who. Um, the person that knows information that may not realize it, um, if they're not a neighbor, they definitely could be a co-worker um, or an old co-worker. Um, now I get out of town is fake news. So whatever that may mean, um, law enforcement has something in the evidence that they have not let the public know about yet. I hear, um, body destroyed DNA, um, Elijah, did I mention he was neglected? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, hold on a second, you guys. I'm so sorry they're loud. Hold on. All right, you guys. 
guys. Sorry about that. All right. Um, I'm sorry. Of course, he yells back. All right. <clears throat> All right. So here we go. Yeah, this was 228 at 520. I knew I wrote the time down because for some reason I just don't like not doing that. Anyways, um, all right, I am seeing, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with what I wrote today and then what I've already talked about, okay, um, The law enforcement, here, let me just read off today's notes, and I'll go back if I think I've missed anything. The law enforcement needs to interview additional friends or family. Try to interview the friend, or maybe it's a neighbor, because they have information, even if they don't realize it. They need to interview the mother, um, read other notes. Um, there is surveillance or a camera footage that shows Jesse and his actions. The law enforcement may already have this. Um, there's definitely more evidence to be. Uh, collected. <laughs> there's more evidence to be collected and there will be some discovered. Or is it concealed? I'm not sure. Um, the DNA will also be uh, discovered, but it may be contaminated. Um, I wrote on the side here, friend or neighbor wears glasses, gray haired person, um, as well as a dirty blonde to strawberry colored hair person, um, ages 40 to 55. Um, now, I started under my wear, okay? I've got, in, I'm passing industrial buildings um, or factories. Uh, I'm going down, oh God, I'm getting full body confirmation because when I read it and speak it out loud, I, my mind directly connects and goes back. Um, I'm going down curvy and windy roads. I feel like I'm going up a mountain, actually. Um, I see a lot of trees, a lot of wooded area, okay, on the sides. I am definitely close to farms or a farming area. Um, I pass schools, restaurants. Um, if, if it's not a school, then it's a government type of building. Um, I am definitely seeing that he destroyed something. Um, I do not feel like it was the body. I feel like it was some type of evidence clothes or something used. Um, could even be a fire. Okay. Um, also, the border... And, and for some reason, this keeps getting clearer and clearer because I know that with the last case, I kept seeing a, like a border or it could be something important about a crossroad, like crossroad or crossway or something. OK, um, close to a very significant church and significant um, graveyard. This could even be their family graveyard that I'm, I'm getting energy from. Um, the mountain cliff is really important that I'm seeing. Um, if this isn't the mountain cliff, then it's the bridge. It, it's one of the two I'm seeing. Um, or that's what it looks like anyways. I mean, it could just be something up higher, I guess. Um, large body of water. Um, now, I feel like wherever he was, for for whatever reason, I feel like he has been, like, I don't know how, if it's because of the weather 
or what. I do see that it looks a little swampy, a little wet, so I don't know if it's been raining there a lot or if it's just naturally that way. Um, definitely looks that way and feels that way as I'm walking through it, okay? Um, anyways, about the water, I don't know if it's just moving fast or what, because I feel like he... It just feels like he showed me that he's went quite a bit of distance through the water. Or or if it's not his body, then it is something connected to him, like evidence or something. Um, I do feel like he's submerged in the water. Um, I wrote, justice will be served. Um, swampy or maybe just wet from rain. I wrote church, grave, uh, creek. I kept seeing creek, something about a creek that's really important um, in the country, or it seems like the country, at least to me. Um, is there native land in that area or reservation by any chance? Um, because I... I didn't pick up on the that native energy yesterday, I will admit. However, today, and that link was a lot more stronger today, um, I definitely picked up some native energy today. Um, also, under a bridge, I was picking up trash bags. Um, oh, God, I wrote, don't give up on me. Also, within six months. So, I'm not sure if that's... Well, I'll do it whenever I do part two with the cards. I will do a time frame, okay? Um, also, I'm not sure why I'm seeing this. Maybe this is what is on camera. Thank you, Spirit. Um, God, that makes sense. Because, see, it wasn't making sense at all why I wrote that down today or tonight. I wrote, not sure why I'm seeing this, but I'm seeing that Jesse was driving frantically, like literally with road rage. Um, so I didn't know if it was like a vision of the past, the future, or what was going on. However, I just wonder if they've got like around here, you know, or when you go to a big city, I guess, and they've got those camera lights or something. Um, maybe that's what is on there. Very frantic. And I literally wrote with road rage. Um, I wrote graveyard again. Um he either burned some evidence or buried evidence or destroyed it. Something of that nature. Evidence is hidden at Jesse's home or near it. Um, I wrote false narrative here. Um, wooded air. Actually, I wrote woody area. So I don't know if there's like a woody, something woody out there uh, with a sign or something. Um, undercover. I wrote undercover. Um, I think that... They have, this may be that energy because I definitely see law enforcement energy of either they've got something that they're not releasing and letting us know about, or it could very well be this. Um, because of me here in undercover so clearly, they may have someone, um, I forgot what it's called when they, um, when they basically, like a snitch, I don't know what they're, oh God, why can't I think of that name? Anyways, um, I think that they've got them in their jails or prisons, wherever they're at, okay, um, to get information. I think that's why I'm seeing that. I am, I wrote down mountains. I wrote timeline issues twice. Um, five is very important. Example, like, Highway 5, 5 miles, 15 miles, 50 miles, Highway 5, Highway 50, 105, I, I don't know, something with 5, so important, you guys. Um, Close to a farm, I wrote again. Um, Also, twice I wrote this, wherever I'm seeing, I feel like someone camps out there sometimes. 
not necessarily that they're there now. However, I just, for some reason, the tr like trash or something that I see left behind, it just feels as if somebody has camped there. Okay. Um, neglected, I wrote again. River, I wrote twice. Roads and highways, I wrote. Uh, parent, I wrote down. Um, also, for whatever reason, I'm seeing stairs. I don't even know if they've got stairs, but I am seeing, like, when I'm connected to JC, I'm definitely seeing us go down some stairs. Um, that's when I seen the trash bags. Um, the colors I'm seeing, red, oh, red, white, blue, um, not all together. I, literally, I'm seeing like a red car, a white vehicle, and then for whatever reason, blue. Um, not necessarily, I feel like the red and the white are vehicles, but I'm not sure why I was seeing so much blue. Um, maybe it's a blue container, um, blue trash bag, blue, I, I'm not real sure. Um, now, I know that a park, I did see something whenever I see the border or the, the crossroads or crossway, um, I did see like a, a small park. I don't feel like it's a very big park. Um, they may not even call it a park. Um, I am getting a lot of South energy. Um, I am going to say Southeast. I would go in the Southeast direction. Or I would go, if it's not Southeast, then I would go in the Northeast direction. It's either Northeast or Southeast. Um is the direction I would be looking for all those landmarks that I wrote. Um, I know, I don't know, actually. I don't know if Brat Brat's out there. Um, I, I don't know if anybody watching this is close to that area. You are more than welcome to contact me. Uh, oh, God, I've got confirmation. Like, I feel like somebody's going to contact me. Not necessarily their family, but, I mean, you can, obviously. But I feel like some somebody's going to contact me. Maybe it's Brat Brat. But anyways, um, if if you send pictures or if I talk to you about it, like I can definitely give you more details. Okay, so if you're out there looking and you need some insight, then you're more than welcome to reach out. Um, that is basically all I've got. I will cover all this um, with cards on a part two. I will post the part two for Idaho first, and then I'll do this one. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you don't know how you will feel about the part two, um, if you're into this, honestly, you guys, I would definitely um, suggest you watching the part two with the cards. Um the cards show images that just help you get a concept of what's going on. Not only that, but obviously when I begin, I open that, that link and I may get downloads as we go over the cards as well. Okay. Um, you guys make sure that you behave in the comments, love one another, be kind to one another. Um, Let's be praying for Elijah and Elijah's family um, and for justice, okay? Make sure you hit that thumbs up for me and share, 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 okay? I'll see you later. Bye.